Get out now. I'm your host, Steve Van Meter, and thanks for joining me today. And Goldman's worst case scenario is about to unleash a flood of selling this week. Let's head over to the CTA report where we kick the story off. We'll start out with Nomira. Now, I want to note that Nomira, see, we see real no change in their positioning from last week. They're heavily, they're at max short on their equity positions. They're at max short on their bond positions. Their commodity positions largely max short, but not completely. How about currency pairs? Well, and pretty much they're short everything against the dollar. This is what we see in the broad market. So these machines, you know, these very rapid trading momentum machines are deeply short the market. But what does this have to do with Goldman's prediction? Well, it's pretty brutal because their machines aren't done selling at all. Here we can see from their tactical flow of funds checklist that their global CTA update that they model their short 76 billion of global equities currently short 21 billion of the S&P and sellers and get this all scenarios over next week. That's right. Their machines are selling no matter what tape goes up is flat or down. The tail risk sits to the upside to note with greater than 134 billion to buy globally on a rally over the next month. But when we get to the charts, we'll just say good luck with that. Here we can see over this week, if the tape doesn't move 28 billion to selling, market goes up, they're selling 10 billion, and in a down move, which is what I think the base case here, 36 billion to selling over one week. And that is a lot. Now, as far as we hear from their bond desk, no, no notes of any selling there. Now let's talk about TD securities not to be confused with td ameritrade how about them well we know their positioning still short no major moves predicted from their machines right now and if you're wondering why these are blurred out these are proprietary reports from these investment banks the only way you can usually get them unless you have some friends there is you've got to be a customer and even then they don't really like giving these out because these show how this money is being traded by those customers but don't worry i've got some really good leads on how to replicate this and already started working on that now let's take a look at the market here because are we likely to see this flood of selling from Goldman? Are we gonna see their worst case scenario of 36 billion this week? I think we're going to. Let's take a look at the momentum screens here. On the S&P 500, we know that momentum is still negative. The RSI is at 28 and a half. It's oversold. We know it hits oversold conditions when it gets down to 30. So it's still oversold from last week. But remember, markets can stay oversold for a lot longer. How about MACD? Negative cross, still nothing there. Momentum Timer Pro is seen at 13 consecutive daily sell signals. It's in the hold of saying no position. Friday's close is at 357.18. We hit our downside target. Remember, I said last week look for the june lows that's our downside target it broke that the next move we're saying increment down but i think the bigger picture is it's going to head even lower we'll say the upside target at 370 371 let's look at the charts of the spy here and what are we looking at a massive top if you said i've never seen a topping pattern in the market well this is one this breaks down any further and what we see is likely we're going to see this thing move from 367 down to 218 reach test kind of the lows or actually not the lows the highs right before the pandemic and boy if that doesn't hold i think we'll see a bounce there but if that doesn't hold oof, watch out below a lot of people will be sellers now let's zoom in a little bit but i think that's too much we need some charts here uh, to work uh, the upside is back into the supply zone the downside let's go back out to that five-year chart well we noted it's kind of right right down in here but a bigger move pushed by goldman that's why i think that downside move tape is possible because you look at the volume traded here and it's very very little it's not a whole lot and that is the danger here is we get a flood of selling into a market where there's just not a lot of trades driving the tape lower and then then you'll see even more selling now for those of you who are wondering what this momentum timer pro is it's part of the markets insider pro bundle is still on discount right now 50 percent off through october 9th in fact we just posted our first trade setup for subscribers you asked for it you said hey steve we want the trade setups we want the video showing what you're seeing on this we want you to give us that here it is 50 percent off put a link in the corner and description below now let's take a look at the nasdaq 100 
because we know momentum on it is negative two, RSI is oversold, MACD negative cross, momentum time for 28 consecutive days of sell signals saying that, hey, if you weren't paying attention to this 28 days ago when we got a sell signal, well, you've had 28 days since almost a, over a month of trades to say, hey, get out of this thing. No positions, Friday's close at 267.26. We'll note our upside target is just above back into the supply zone, downside target below. All right, let's take a look at the Q here and see what we've got going on and I think we're looking at that before here let's look at the S&P 500 uh, we'll go back I think that's my mistake we see a move up here into the supply zone and that is where we know where the sellers are at and we see that is the upside target downside target into here all the way down there we already looked at the QQQ no volume really no volume on either of them you see the S&P could get down here to 337 before you know where we see buyers in the past again not a lot to keep this market held up here at all and that is the big concern now let's talk about the bond market i mentioned you know, murrah max short uh, we talk about uh, goldman had no update on there couldn't get any information how about td securities i don't see nothing on their report says they're moving positions at all again i'm working on my own screen of this they're showing consistently with what they're showing so not a lot to talk about on the bond part of the market because well there's already been a flood of selling let's take a look at TLT actually you know what before we get to TLT we need to look at the screen of TLT uh, and that doesn't tell us a whole lot but here we know the 10-year treasury yields are retesting resistance we've seen up here at this level that there is usually a big downside move in yields coming when it gets rejected how about TLT what do we know? Momentum still negative. RSI under 40. MACD negative cross. Momentum time pro. Six consecutive days of sell signal. So it got a little buy signal and then backed off of it. Downside target retest of the recent lows. 100 to 101. Upside target just above it. So far, nothing going on. But if these machines start to trigger, boy, watch out. There could be a massive short squeeze. But nothing indicating that that's coming soon. We can zoom in here and note there's just nothing of excitement here. Uh, you really want to see if you're looking for a much larger move let's zoom out not to that one but to this one year chart you kind of want to see it get over this 115 116 level at that point you'll see the machines doing a heck of a lot of short covering and a change in the market of course the other factor here is we got the cpi report coming up pretty soon so that'll be markets will be eagle eye on that for sure all right so let's talk about the metals now and what do we have on the metals what we've got, of course, positioning, uh, no mirror near, um, you know, we're talking heavy short positions, looking at TD securities, fairly heavy short positions. At this point, the risk on these is to the upside, not the downside. Let's take a look at GLD. Momentum is negative. RSI is at, I don't know, I think I forgot to update that. I don't think it's 41. It's oversold, but we'll check that in a moment. MACD had a positive cross. I think I forgot to update this part of the slide. I think I updated bar, not all. I I think I update everything from here down. Uh, 29 consecutive days of sell signals. Upside target at 155 to 156. Downside target 147, 148. So let's take a look here at GLD. What do we see? And uh, RSI is, oh, it is at 41. So I did update it. So there, and momentum is positive, but not much. Is I should have changed that. So momentum, momentum slightly positive here but not too much. Looking at the upside, you're talking uh, just slightly move higher up here into, what do we say? Uh, the 155, 156 has been an area of selling and downside risk is retag the recent lows. What I wanna look at is the bigger picture for gold. Look at this chart. This is a mad, massive topping pattern. You see there's buyers, a little bit of buying here around 1556, the bigger supply zone around 1500. If you say that that's not likely, well, my friends, take a look at the chart of silver. Everyone said this was bullish and going higher, broke down. So silver may be putting in a bottom, could be a trade recommendation coming near future for Momentum Time Pro subscribers. We'll see. All right, let's go back to the trade. This has been the trade of the week for, well, several weeks because it is the trade of the week and that is the dollar and we note that currencies remain short everybody is short everything versus the dollar 
what do we have here? RSI 63, momentum is positive. MACD's got the positive cross still. Uh, momentum time from Pro, we flagged this a long time ago, but for those who didn't get in it, the daily flipped back to a buy in 816. We suggested a buy it open at 2854 with an initial stop loss at 2831. Friday's closing still in the green, 3015. Upside target 116 on DXY, downside target 2944. I will just tell you this, my friends, if you're chasing something, don't chase things that are going vertical you can get whiplash let's take a look at the charts here of the dollar and see where it's going and why if you're going to get in this you know keep your stops tight because this move like this now yes can it go higher it sure can but remember you're buying something that already went up a bunch we were talking about how this was bottoming out way before here let's zoom out to the max weekly because we can only see where the dxy is going i think the next move is to 116 this thing gets up to 120 and breaks out sky is the limit for the dollar uh, watch out above on that one all right, let's see. What do we got next? Well, they, we don't have anything next. And with that, hey, I'm Steve Van Meter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being fans. Bye now.